People ask me all the time how to eat a lobster. So I'm going to teach you how to eat a lobster the best way that I know how. First of all, we'll start with the tools. You will need a cracker to crack open the lobster, a small fork to pick the meat out, some traditional silverware if you want to cut the tail into small pieces. Some people use these lobster bibs, and we do offer them at our restaurant, but they're really not necessary if you know how to do it right. The idea is to eat the most amount of lobster while it's hot. So we go for the big pieces first, which include the tail, which all you do is grab onto the carcass of the lobster and turn it side by side, it comes right off, and the claws. And you just pull them down and they fold over. Set the body aside, we're gonna to get to that later. That's all the small nuggets to eat. Now the tail, grab the very back of it and the fins and give them a snap and they come right off. Don't throw them out, there's meat in the fins and I'll show you that later as well. Give the body a little squeeze with your hand just to loosen it up and then you take your fork and you can pull that big chunk of tail meat out in one piece. The claws break the knuckles away from the claw, like that. Now, this is there's a lot of water inside the claws, and the trick to not getting wet is to hold it upside down and loosen it up. Did you see all the water come out of that? Now you go sideways, like this, with the bottom part of the claw, and usually that piece will stick to the claw so you don't have to deal with trying to get that meat out of there. Then it's simple. You just give the claw a crack. And out it comes in one nice, quick piece. The next part you want to tackle is the knuckles. And this is the very tastiest morsel of the lobster, in my opinion. Beautiful flavor, my favorite. Look at that beautiful chunk of lobster. And that you just pull out. This one I'm gonna eat. Now remember I was talking about the, the tail? Very little meat, but there is meat in there. So you kind of just fidget with it, break it kind of with your fingers here, give it a little squeeze, and see it's not much, but it's good. And part of the fun of eating a whole lobster is enjoying all the different textures and nuances of the different part of the lobster. Then you have your walking legs. These are called the walking legs because that's what the lobster uses to walk around on the bottom of the ocean floor. And break those all off. And to eat these, snap them in half, hold your finger on one side, squeeze and suck at the same time. Last but not least is the body. So take the carapace and, and remove it from the body. Now here you have the this green stuff. In the summer, you'll have uh, bright red stuff on female lobsters, which is the eggs or the roe. Or the, and this green stuff is called the tamale. And it functions like a liver on a lobster. It's very, very flavorful. Some people like to just eat it. Some people spread it on toast. I like to take a little bit and mush it around in my butter so I have tamale-flavored butter. Now take the, what's left of the carcass put two fingers in and snap it wide open. And this is the body of the lobster. Inside the body are gills on both sides. In between each set of gills, there are amazing, delicious morsels of lobster meat. So that's how I eat a lobster. I hope you'll come down to the Summer Shack and try one yourself.